Hey everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to look at uh, connectivity between your local system, be it a laptop or a desktop, to your AWS instance. Uh, in AWS instance, uh, we are going to connect to the same one uh, now. If you haven't uh, uh, followed that uh, video, uh, here is a link. We will take a look at uh, two of the very frequently used uh, tools that we use generally to connect to AWS or any other uh, remote server or remote VM. Um, uh, two of them on um, Windows are PuTTY and uh, FileZilla. Uh, you could also use uh, some other uh, FTP client that should also work perfectly fine uh, with this very similar uh, steps. Let's look at PuTTY first. So search for PuTTY in Google. That will take you to PuTTY.org. Here we go. And uh, I click on uh, the download PuTTY and it takes me to this page where we have all latest uh, PuTTY files. I used this um, installer.exe link uh, to install in my system uh, that essentially copied all the all these putty related uh, exe files that you see here into a install folder you can as well just copy putty.exe and puttygen.exe into one folder and just execute from there that will also work perfectly fine puttygen we will need uh, in order to create our uh, uh, private key um, if you already have downloaded um, the private key directly from AWS, then uh, probably you just need uh, putty.exe. We will uh, now switch back to AWS. Let's go to AWS through Bitnami. Right, Bitnami AWS .bitnami .com. <coughs> Since I haven't used it for some time, I am already signed out, so automatically, so I sign back in. I use my Google as earlier. So it should know everything. And I have already created my cloud account. So it should be there. And it asked me vault password, which I've already saved. So I don't have to enter it again. And then here, if you click launch, it is going to create another one. So go to this virtual machines. And here is our main stack application uh, VM click on this HK so that we get the details of the server. So uh, we can either use this full name or this uh, IP address uh, in um, putty. So I'll copy this IP address and go back and connect, go to putty folder. So where do I have my putty? Putty here. And then in the host name or IP address, I copy the IP address, come back, and a PPK file was here. Uh, in my earlier session, I had asked you to download. If you haven't, you can uh, download it now also. So 2596, where is this stored? Okay, it's in my downloads. I go back to, switch back to Putty. So we just entered this uh, host name and port number as 22. And then you go to connection under that SSH under that auth. Under this auth, we are going to auth authorization, we are authentication. We are going to select the PPK file we just downloaded. I click on browse and browse to my downloads folder. It was, it's the same file. I'll just uh, select this and say open. So this, these are the only pieces of information it really needs. One is your PPK file and second one is uh, uh, your host name and port number. These are the three pieces of information and click on open. It asks you for login. I don't know if we have a login name here. Uh, oh, uh, if we go to our AWS, we will find uh, the login name. I just want to show them where they are located so that you you can help yourself. Sign into console rather than depending on um, the uh, predetermined information. So I go back to my instance where we had uh, 
uh, where we have the details i clicked on connect and that shows you the connection details oh by the way uh, you can also click on this link it will show you the details of how to use putty to get connected so here i had uh, the username ubuntu so i will use the same username here in my putty uh, where it was asking me so i use ubuntu hope you're following me and enter you are in so welcome to your vm um so i just see the directory structure so yep we have um, we have all the bitnami uh, stuff uh, and structured very well uh, and our application uh, that is mean stack should be uh, deep within the folder structure here http docs and all these so you can check those um, so basically i just wanted to show you how do we get connected to the vm so this is a very first part um, now we have access to mean stack you can create deploy your applications inside these uh, folders uh, this is um, basically your production version or um, development uh, box as you name it so in my case i'm going to treat this as my production so let's switch back and uh, look at another tool uh, called filezilla which is a ftp client as well as server so it'll it'll give you a visual interface to transfer your files let's search for filezilla filela and that takes you to uh, open source project file uh, project uh, website and you can um, download from filezilla client so this 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 is the one uh, that i'm going to use so you can download and install so once you install you'll have um, uh, you'll have a link like this uh, or a shortcut uh, i'll launch that this is how you uh, this is how the interface is we need to provide uh, connection details to filezilla so that it can get connected to aws and show us the server folder structure here so to begin with we will first need to associate the ppk file uh, that we have downloaded from our bitnami aws instance or a mean stack instance that we have already created from there we had downloaded ppk file let's associate that in ssh uh, section of filezilla so we'll go to edit settings uh, navigate to sftp uh, section and then there is an add key file select this and i select the ppk file from my where is the ppk it was in downloads oh, yeah here select this and i say open so it is associated here click on ok so now filezilla knows about the uh, our uh, security file we need to provide it a few more details port number was 22 as we earlier entered and we also need uh, to provide it the server name so it was over here or i'll again use the same ip address and i provide it here you don't need to provide okay i need to provide username ubuntu and no password because that's already uh, a part of a ppk file i say quick connect yep it got connected so this uh, on the right side you see the folder structure this is where uh, all our uh, instance related files are stored uh, you will be storing all the files under these so this is our uh, uh, rock mongo or mongodb database http docs and all these things uh, you see this uh, these files these are nothing but on the server these files are there so let's say you want to um, transfer one of the file i'll just show you um, one sample i go to bitnami and i'll just transfer one uh, dummy file and then delete it off so i let's say what is a json file let me tra transfer this sanjay.json it's an mkb file i just have to drag and drop here and as you see in the bottom part it just transferred the file to server 
can scroll down and see that this exists here. So this is on uh, the server. You can actually um, do various tests to see if it is transferred or not. But um, in this case, we don't need it. We will just delete it. Press delete. Select this and press delete. Be very careful on uh, any of the deletes or any drags and drops from server because that can potentially impact uh, your server status. So um, we saw how to get connected to FileZilla and we also transferred one single file just to see uh, how it works. Um, in the future sessions, we will uh, create the main, main application, customize it to our need, um, maybe just one sample page and upload all the files and see how it shapes up. And we will try to see that on the browser uh, live. Thank you.